Hi, today we're going to take you through the uh, features and new additions we've added to Retailer as part of our 2.6 release. Um, there's been 325 features added to the new version we're sending out and that's been done with a team of over 8 developers and it's taken us about 12 months of actual programming work and about 6 months worth of planning prior to that to come to this release. First section we're going to touch on is the point of sale screen because this is a, the screen that many people use on a, on a daily basis and multiple times it's the most used screen within the software. Want to change something in the point of sale screen? All you've got to do now is touch or click and you can change multiple things that you can change before. So for example, if you want to change the quantity of a stock item rather than having to re-enter it, simply click or touch the quantity and you can change it right there on the screen. Want to discount an item, you can click on the discount, change it there on the screen. If you want to discount the entire sale, click on the total and you can change it there on the screen. We've also introduced refunds. These are different to the original refunds that we used to have where you would do a minus one of a particular item. These actually grab the original sale information simply by scanning the receipt or finding the sale in the system and grab all the discounts and all the information that was with the sale when you first sold it. This makes it a lot more accurate so if you have something that's on special currently, it doesn't get discounted with the new refund. We've also got a brand new sales history screen which allows you to search in ways that you could never search before. We think it's going to be really powerful for a lot of our users. Next bit we're going to touch on is the customer display. We've rewritten this particular part of the software from, from scratch. Um, and the reason we've done this is we wanted to deliver a lot more powerful customer experience. You can have images now set in portrait or landscape, and you can even set images to be different on separate terminals. So if you've got a different part of your store where you want to promote different things, then you can have those images there and different images on a separate terminal. Uh, the sales grid can be turned on or off, so you can just do promotions on the screen and not show the actual what's going on in the point of sale screen, or you can have both, and you can choose to split that in horizontal or in vertical mode. Uh, the, the changes we've made to the customer display screen, we think we, you're going to love it. There's a, a, a lot there, a lot more powerful than what it used to be. Next section we're going to talk about is receipts. This has been a, a well into a 12-month project for us, and if you look at the way we now display them on a mobile phone, it makes it really easy for a customer to read and see, and they look exactly like a receipt would on normal paper, but a lot clearer. They don't need to worry about fading, and they don't need to worry about losing their receipt. The added benefit of this is if you're doing or using discount vouchers in your store, discount voucher straight to their phone, all you've got to do at the point of sale screen is scan that in front of your scanner, discount voucher is applied. Again, there's so many different options with the receipts now and they're truly customizable. So for individual businesses or even individual terminals, you can customize what, how the receipt is laid out and what information goes on the receipt. And uh, we're looking forward to getting them out there. We've done it in all three sizes, your receipt printer size as well as A4 and A5. The next section we're going to talk about is the third party integration we, we've added. We've added a, a number of new integration partners to run through the list, the first one is Zero online accounting platform. We've done this based on customer feedback who are looking for a cloud-based accounting solution. Zero was a natural choice for us, and we're really proud to announce this you know, integration with them. It's seamless and it's simple. The, other, the next one is PayPal. This is really exciting for us. PayPal is, uh, allows your customers to now pay at the counter simply by swiping their phone in front of the scanner, simply scan a QR code, the sale's done at your register. Really simple. Next one we've included is V Loyalty. This is uh, done for the Plants Plus group, and there's a number of other, of other groups that use this same software. Um, we've embedded scales now, so you can use scales directly linked to point of sale. So when you do your, your weight on the actual scales, they come through to the point of sale system. We've added Poztech, which is one of Australia's largest integrated fuel suppliers or solution providers. So if you're selling petrol, the pump information all comes up in the point of sale screen. And we've also added another FPOS provider called Quest FPOS. We've added a whole new serial numbers function, which allows you to track serial numbers both from arrival right through to sales. And we've also added some key things like being able to customize the search screen in things like the, the stock search screen or the customer search screen. And also even be able to turn on advanced stock search by default. This has all come from customer feedback who wanted to search in different ways and we're making sure we're delivering that for you. We, uh, we're really looking forward to getting this, this version out to you. 2.6 has been a long time coming, we know, but we know that we wanted to get it right and we wanted to deliver some really powerful features that you'll love.